Hi, everybody. My name is Alan. On behalf of the crew, I'd like to welcome you to another edition of Bridging Heaven and Earth. Anybody who's watched the shows before knows that each one of the shows is really like a child, and each one of the shows has really a special significance to us, even though we've done a lot of them over the years. But the crew here and, and, and really the audience out there and the people who watch it, these shows that we're doing, specifically art project shows, which is what we're honored and delighted to do tonight, the fourth annual International Healing Art Project show is tonight's show, and we are showing 22 extraordinary pieces of, we're showing works from 22 extraordinary artists from all over the globe. And as a lot of you know, because I know a lot of you have seen the previous three International Healing Art Project shows, the shows that, or the ideas for the project came as a dream, it came as a vision, as a, as a healing, as an acupuncture for the planet, that because of Bridging's reach to so many places and so many countries and so many villages really because of YouTube and Google video and because of the internet that the idea came through us as a dream, as a vision to reach out to the world and offer an opportunity for us all to come together to collaborate in creativity to produce anybody who wants to, any size, any medium, any format, any skill level to produce a new original piece based on the theme Bridging Heaven and Earth. And then when we got those pieces here at the Bridging Home, we would show them on the shows, we would have art projects, we would have gallery openings, which we've done on numerous occasions, and most of them are available through the website to see pictures of them, stills and videos and, and all. And this would be like a healing the heart of the planet, an acupuncture for the planet, as all these incredible people of all skill levels, of all ages, come together and in their own particular way, from their own particular culture, create a new original piece. And, and however they create, through meditation, through picking up a brush, through standing before a piece of, of jewelry, a piece of clay, before a, a collage, to produce a new original piece based on the theme Bridging Heaven and Earth. And we have seen so many extraordinary pieces come to us from all over the world. Probably as of now, we have over 200 pieces. And it's been such an extraordinary healing and gifting and creative and collaborative experience for everyone. And on tonight's show, besides showing the extraordinary manifestations of these worldwide human creative beings, we're going to read a lot of what they have to say about their history, about their spiritual quest, their spiritual gifts, what doing the particular uh, Heaven to Earth Art Project piece is meant for them. And it's very, very inspiring. And it's a very, very fortunate thing that we, you out there in, in television world and in internet world, and we here as a bridging family, as a bridging crew, get to, to see this art, get to experience this art, get to hear the text and poems and, and incredible visual and, and written messages from all these people all over the world about the love, about the oneness, about the collaboration, about the creativity, about the infinite, about our connection to the love. Really, it's all about the love. So there are so many pieces. Let's just get right to it. You all know who've watched Bridging before. Bridging is about the love. It's about the oneness. It's dedicated to the oneness. It's about us coming together to create new paradigms, to bring the world into a space where love is the manifesting and the, the, the enduring power that moves us because that is what we're really made of. So join me in a short meditation. We're going to have... 22 amazing manifestations. We're going to have a beautiful video from one of the artists, Aaron Pine. But join me in a short meditation, then we'll have the video, and then we'll have art from all over the planet that is so inspiring and so empowering and so uplifting. So join me in a short meditation. <clears throat>
Wow, thank you. So settle in. We really have a beautiful 58 or so minutes left of being together and being able to share all this manifested love. So the video we're showing tonight is one of the extraordinary artists as part of the International Bridging Healing Art Project. It's Aaron Pine. It's a beautiful video, Awakening the Divine. Awakening the, the Divine. Enjoy. Everybody, welcome back. So thank you, Aaron, for sending that beautiful, beautiful video. And this piece is also a piece by Aaron. Uh, Aaron, it's called Goddess of Heaven and Earth. It's Aaron Pine. It's printed digital photograph art. Uh, Aaron is from Cincinnati, Ohio. And let me read you something about Aaron and his artwork. It's just, you know, such extraordinary manifestations, as you can see. I mean... Just the power and the, and the energy and the love that went into each of these pieces, you'll see one after the other, and all the different formats and jewelry and, and, and just incredible pieces, acrylics, oils, just from all over the globe. But let me read you a little about Aaron. Aaron is a visionary artist, energy healer, and meditation teacher. Since his youth, he has been on this path. As a child, he made sketches of mandalas without consciously knowing their deeper meaning and had desires to be a teacher of subjects not taught in normal schools. When he turned 17, he reconnected with his spiritual heritage and rediscovered these childhood gifts. At the age of 17, he began his study of spiritual subject with astrology. From there on, 
he was told of his great potential in the spiritual field by a variety of psychics. At that point, he began his his spiritual training. He has studied under many great teachers locally and from abroad. He has received certification in psychic development, Reiki, AHS, reflexology, DNA activation, theta healing, and Christology. Aaron has also studied and practiced astrology, yoga, sacred geometry, spirit guides, angels, Kabbalah, shamanism, and other spiritual practices. At the same time, his renewed interest in art reflected his spiritual growth. He began to create artwork inspired by his studies and meditations. By the age of 21, he had his art and writings in various local publications, had been on PBS TV, Fox 19 News, and became ordained as a priest of Melchizedek, a non-denominational spiritual church. At the age of 24, he was initiated into Peruvian shamanism. Aaron has done much traveling in his time seeking spiritual truths, mystical places, and avenues for his art and messages. He now seeks to help others who can benefit from his spiritual understanding and love. He accepts the core truth behind all religions and believes they have all had their perfect place in the development of humanity. Aaron's experience has shown him that there exists one universal love, energy, spirit, God, goddess that is within all people and all things. It is through the awareness and understanding of this that we are released from suffering and can each come into our full power of love. It is Aaron's desire to help others realize this infinite potential within them through his healing, teaching, and art, and help bring in a new level of peace to earth, humanity, and all creatures that live here. This is, and then let, let me read you something about his art in particular. Aaron's artwork is all created on the computer using art and photo editing software. Many of his artworks contain Aaron's photography as well. He was self-taught and guided by spirit on using this software. Most of the artworks take 15 plus hours to make. During meditation or dreams, Aaron receives the images for his art as well as instructions on how to make it. So, I mean, you can just get a feel for the depth and the power that go into each of these pieces and you know as they progress through this show and by the way if anybody wants to see all these pieces and go to the links to all the the artists go to heaven to earth art that's the bridgings uh, healing art project website heaven to earth art.com and you will just see the extraordinary energy of all these pieces from all over the globe. It, it is so powerful that literally, even though I've seen them hundreds of times, every time I go there, it really brings out that, that empowerment in me. So the next two pieces we're gonna see are Jean Mukand and Catherine Forster. They're incredible. Yeah, hi, the picture you're seeing now is Jean Mukand, Holy Grail. It's an acrylic on canvas. Jean is from Batavia, Illinois. Here's what uh, Jean has written about Holy Grail. I am lost, I am rapture, I am hope, I am bliss. I have found salvation in the maiden's gift. Under a midnight moon she offered to me a communion of San Graal, the door to eternity. What sacred secret sweet nectar of life, an artist palette and passage to light, I gasp. I will conquer and beckon all to hail the divine, infinite, holy grail. And here's the artist's statement that she did when she you know, sent us this picture. My art represents the culmination of a spiritual journey I've awakened to over the past three years. A Kundalini enlightenment, if you will. The paintings you will see are filled with religious, philosophical, cultural, and historical imagery and symbolism. Symbols evoke profound emotions in people, and many Kabbalistic and Egyptian magical texts suggest an abstract symbol can become manifest in physical form through the power of thought. Alchemy, the transmutation of two things into a third more desired form, like the desire of our Iron Age sacred masculine to reconnect with the sacred feminine in our quest for enlightenment. 
As we move towards the new millennium, I wish you peace and unity as you seek to combine the serpents and reconnect with infinite oneness, the ultimate alchemic transmutation. That's Jean Mukand, Holy Grail. The other incredible piece you're seeing is, is by Catherine Foster, Bridging Heaven and Earth. It's a painted metal stretched over a sculptural wood frame, and Catherine is from Polsbo, Washington. Now here's Catherine's statement, weaving peace through art. My true passion is the creative process. It is that special time between the spark of inspiration and the completed piece that marks both reality and total immersion. The end product becomes a physical manifestation of this creative process that has the ability to stir something deep within us with its mysterious beauty. Art, harmony, and peace, these are the driving forces in my current body of work. My present technique consists of multiple layers of paint, polymers, and resins, often embossing or embossing the metals and infusing interesting objects between layers. I have given myself the challenge of creating a rich glowing surface that draws you in with its internal energy, texture, and colors. The luminous surface radiates the inner glow of the human soul as it weaves relationships with self. The environment and the world as symbols of our existence. I call it living art, for the images glow and change depending from where one views the artwork. My current project is woven metal of many colors portraying diversity. Relationships are expressed as the varied pieces are woven, embossed with words of peace in many languages, resonating a universal desire for the lessening of, of hostility. It is my goal to maintain feelings of inner peace as I create the artwork, thus passing on this feeling to others. I know that within my heart and soul peace prevails and is spoken in many languages. I know that within my heart and soul, peace prevails and is spoken in many languages. So the next piece is, you're gonna see is an incredible quilt by Carol Bridges and an incredible painting by Javier Marin Gomez. So here they come. So this beautiful quilt you're seeing is by Carol Bridges and it's called, As We Love Her, So, so Shall She Live. As we love her, so shall she live. It's hand and machine stitch quilt, and Carol is from Nashville, Indiana. So here's what Carol says about this piece, she, this incredible piece she did for the Healing Art Project. The earth responds to our direct relationship with her, reading books and how to and what was or could be, though useful and interesting, are not what she is longing for. She needs you to touch her sacred ground with your own hands, then she will heal. And this is what Carol says about her quilting process. For me, quilting is a magical process of being drawn into a fantasy by some fragment of cloth, then searching for the community of colors and designs that will dance with that first piece. The initial vision usually evolves into something slightly different than I first imagined as I cut and collage the colored fabrics because this puts me in a meditative state and my soul begins to take over the artistic expression. The art Quilts vibrate with my love for the living forest around me and my feelings of gratitude for all that is my personal world. I hope each quilt speaks for itself, a reminder that our ordinary life is the vessel through which our dreams of paradise are poured. So that's Carol Bridges, the quilt, As We Love Her, So Shall She Live. And the incredible artwork you see is glass reverse acrylic painting on a wood flamework encasement by Javier Marin Gomez called Bridging Heaven 2.0. And Javier is a good dear friend of Bridging from San Jose, Costa Rica. Uh, he came to us through our friend and former guest from the Love Foundation, Harold Becker. There's another piece by uh, Javier on the Bridging website called, uh, so go to the website, heaven to earth art 
dot com, heaven to all. To Earth uh, Art dot com, and you can see the other piece by Javier and all the pieces. So, and the next pieces we're going to see are incredible pieces from Lily Nava, Lida Sherafatman, and Catherine Hart. So, this incredible piece you're seeing now is by a great friend of bridging, Lily Nava. She's a fusion artist. Fusion art is uh, an incredible uh, type of art method of art by a guest who was on show, Bridging Show 233. If you want to watch it on YouTube, go to Bridging Heaven Earth, show number 233 with the Razuli, R-A-S-S-O-U-L-I, and you'll hear about fusion art and that whole thing. And this picture, uh, Lily, this is an acrylic on canvas, and Lily is from Las Vegas, Nevada, and this is the Planet Rising Trilogy. It's three separate pieces. And this is what Lily has to say about this extraordinary manifestation of, of power and glory and love and, and our connection. This artwork was inspired by the artist's vision as part of collaborating with Bridging Heaven and Earth's art project to raise our planet's vibration through oneness and love. Created as three separate panels, the real power of this artwork is when all three pieces are placed side by side to become one. <clears throat> Our human plane of existence has conditioned most to think we are separate and to think of self is optimum. Planet Rising Trilogy was created to inspire the language of increase and oneness for our planet as we know it and to show that what seems to be separate really isn't when a group is brought together. Isolation is man-made and an illusion of our human perspective and psyche. It's time now to shift the old paradigm and take down the walls that divide us and come together in unity, love, and oneness so that we can have our heaven right here on earth in this new millennium. Planet Rising Trilogy is a prayer for world peace, unity, and oneness. Will you choose oneness or business as usual? That's from uh, Lily Nava, Planet Rising Trilogy. And the other piece you're seeing on the bottom of the two pieces on the other easel is by Lita Sherafatman, and it's called Divine Light Engraved in Our Heart. It's an acrylic on canvas. Lita lives in Paris, France, and Malta. And this is what Lita has to say about her extraordinary Divine Light Engraved in Our Heart. The inspiration for divine light engraved in our heart. The painting shows the divine light inside the soul of every human being. In, Buddha, in Buddhism, it would be called Buddhahood nature. In Christianity, it would be called holiness, I guess. The yellow lines are like flowers, our oneness with nature. The dark blue around the light shows the uncertainties around this light, the demons which surround us, even inside ourselves, always ready to attack if we let them. And Lita was born in 1977 in Iran. Uh, she lived in Malta since 91 and has based, has been based in Paris since 2006. Uh, her painting, her passion for painting started early on. And one of the amazing things about uh, Lita is that she has written an art manifesto for that aim, the aim of human rights and peace, called the Humanitarian Art Manifesto. And again, if you go to Lita's page on the Bridging Heaven and Earth website, go to the Bridging website, heaventoearthart.com. And go to Lita's page on the artist page. You'll see her own page and a link to her website. And then you'll be able to read the, her humanitarian art manifesto. And the piece on top of Lita's is Catherine Hart's Earth Piece. It's a watercolor. And Catherine is from Rancho de Taos, New Mexico. And this is what Catherine says about her piece, Earth Piece, P-E-A-C-E. -E. Color, light, movement, mandala of sacred connection. Earth peace reflects the truth that we are all one, that we are always held in perfect safety and love regardless of appearances, that we live in a friendly universe teeming with life, that there is a God by whatever name we call her. She is our mother, father, brother, sister, and friend. Therefore, we are family, and as such, we need every one of us to be complete. This loving force is at the center of all things, just as it lives in the center of each of us, 
burning with eternal peace. To find all, enter this center moment by moment in awareness and gratitude. What joy, love all, serve all, remember God, God and who you are. Earth Peace by Catherine Hart. And the next two pieces of extraordinary manifestation, actually the next three pieces, are by Gordon Escrosa and Michael Brown. So the two incredible photographs you see on the left are by Gordon Escrosa. Uh, the one on the bottom is Bura, and the one on the top is Benatza. The reason I laugh is my beloved is from Croatia as well. And this is where Gordon is from, and she says I pronounce everything horribly. So I don't know if I did or I didn't, but that's the best I could do at the moment. So obviously they're both photographs. Bura is a kind of wind which, which causes big waves in the sea, and Bonatza causes a, a calming look. So those are the two pieces. Now Gordner is the Bridging Heaven Earth representative in Split Dalmatia, which is part of Croatia located in the Adriatic Sea. The beautiful Adriatic Sea has an extremely deep m meaning to Gordner energetically. Now she's been watching uh, the Bridging Heaven Earth shows for years, and then she emailed us and told us how watching all of the Bridging shows had changed her life, and she wanted to get involved with us, and here is her art that she's contributed to the Healing Art Project. Gordner is an amazing light worker, a mother, a Reiki and bioenergy healer, a new millennium children teacher, and a professional photographer. Now, Gordner tells us about her art. As a professional photographer, I prefer pure photographs without any interventions or helping devices. I like to say I am a Zen photographer fascinated with three elements, the sky with beautiful white clouds, the sea, and the rocks, including houses made of stone. On my photos, you mostly don't see people, but you can notice their presence in houses, boats, shadows, forgotten toys, and similar. I've been taking photos at exactly the same spot for years, meditating and waiting for the right moment. Those photos are reflections of my childhood, my youth, my grandmother's love and kindness. In Dalmatia, we have an ancient, well-known expression. When you put your finger in this blue sea, you become connected with the entire world. And the picture on your right is actually three pieces done together by a, a amazing being, uh, Michael Brown. It's called Bridging Heaven and Earth. It's an acrylic on canvas. Michael is from Johannesburg, South Africa, and he was a guest on Bridging, uh, show number 222. Uh, He's an incredible being, as I said. His book, The Presence Process, A Healing Journey into Present Moment Awareness, is an incredible healing contribution, and it's available to all. If you want to see a really powerful show, watch the show, Bridging Heaven and Earth, show number 222 with Michael Brown. It's on YouTube. It's on Google Video. You can find it all over the Internet. I think there's a link from Michael's site, I think, which is the present, presenceprocess.com. And here's what Michael says about his extraordinary three-piece bridging heaven and earth. The deeper we peer within ourselves and the more we experience inner intimacy into me and see within our own loving hearts, the more we real eyes, with real eyes, heaven is not somewhere we go to when we die, but a reality we awaken into when we truly embrace the miracle of life. Within this inner realization, within our very own loving hearts, within this vibrant moment of our life experience is where, where we are, are invited to build the bridge of love that merges the realities of heaven and earth. This is not only our birthright, it is, it is our divine destiny. So watch the show with Michael, it is extraordinary. Show number 222, you'll love it. Yeah, so the, the incredible jewelry you're seeing on this first panel, it was by three unbelievable artists, uh, beings, manifestors, you know, healing collaborators. Uh, the, the two pieces you're seeing, or the three pieces you're seeing here are by Ellie M. It's called the Serendipity Collection. Ellie is from West Hollywood, California. The earrings here 
are Australian or, or Czech crystal or glass, non-tarnishable gold-plated wire, and 14-carat gold-plated earring hooks. The cuff here, our cuff she makes, are one-of-a-kind handmade with vintage centerpiece from the 30s and 40s to the 70s, embellished with studs and grommets. The artist statement about the Serendipity Collection, my vision was to create raw, natural, handmade jewelry representing certain aspects of the world. Leather, leather meaning the distinct feeling and natural appearance, rhinestone and crystals are hand selected for the energy they project, defining color. All other materials were specifically thought out and used for their natural beauty and stability. All pieces are handmade that reflect your inner self, beauty, and personality. Wear them all with confidence, knowing they are as original as you. Uh, the extraordinary uh, necklace you're seeing in the middle is by Magda Sabe. Uh, she's one of a great bridging friends from Cairo, Egypt. And people are involved in this project from all over the world. Just unbelievable people and collaborators and from all different cultures and, and ways of living and just wanting to heal the heart of the planet. And this is called Ser Serenity of the Sun and the Sea. It's aquamarine and white pearls attached with silver wire. And here's what Magda says about uh, this incredible necklace. White pearls are a symbol of purity. Aquamarine stone is attuned to the ocean and helps us get in touch with the nature spirits of the sea. It is excellent for healing, protection, and meditation. The glass jewelry you're seeing as part of this first piece is by beloved Bianca. She's a Bridging Heaven and Earth crew member. Besides working for Bridging full time, she does stained glass art and fused glass jewelry. The stained glass you'll see is the other piece on there. And this is what Bianca says about her art pieces. The inspiration for my art piece is my passion for bridging heaven and earth, and in each piece manifested, I consciously and intentionally input the enlivening energy for us all to joyously and lovingly bridge heaven and earth. Love the heart, the peace symbol, and the yin-yang, the balance symbol, are very beautiful and empowering manifestations as thoughts, words, sounds, and vibrations. The more we send out those thoughts and vibrations, the closer we are to the realization of a new paradigm, a new world with no separation, no disharmony, just love, peace, compassion, kindness, joy, and oneness. So the glass jewelry you're seeing is this fused art. That's all the little necklace pieces. And the piece next to it is both uh, fused art, I think, a little bit, and uh, uh, stained glass, and it's called Flower Power. And, you know, you just see all these powerful manifestations, and they're so beautiful and so powerful, and we're so fortunate. And remember, everyone who wants to, who's watching this show, join us in collaboration and love and joy to heal the heart of the planet. No skill level required. So the next pieces we're going to see are by Linda Jacobson and Lorna Paquin. So this beautiful painting you're seeing uh, on, your, on the left here is by Linda Jacobson. It's called Moonrise, and it's acrylic on canvas. Uh, Linda is from Venice, California, has been supporting the Bridging Healing Art Project from the very beginning. Uh, you know, her life is dedicated to consciousness and oneness and love. And here's what she says about it. My paintings are based on elements of nature and how they can also be seen as elements within the human soul. This painting was inspired by one night in Venice, California, when a full moon became a luminous orb and began to feel like a living being. It became to me a mystical metaphor for the divine light that shines down on earth and gives its very life and light, not the clear light of the sun, but something reflective, luminous, mysterious, and poetic. The unseen heavenly realm that gives life and substance to the earth world, which inspires us to reach within and connect with the realm of spirit. 
Uh, Linda's paintings are lyrical abstractions inspired by her love of nature and lifelong involvement in meditation, Buddhism, dream work, ritual, mythology, and shamanism. Her visionary images strive to express the spirit, energy, and beauty of the natural world as well as her internal experiences and dreams. As a teacher, she combines the ancient wisdom path of knowledge with creative exploration and play, committed to bringing forth and nurturing the creative essence inherent in all of us. She helps each person find their own unique creative voice. And the picture you're seeing on the right is by uh, Lorna Paquin. It's called Heaven to Earth. It's an acrylic on canvas. Uh, Lorna is from Las Vegas, Nevada. She, too, is a fusion artist who studied and worked with Rizzuli, uh, who was a guest on Bridging Show 222. And Lorna, and we have a joke between Lorna and I about her unrelenting spirit of creativity, collaboration, and love. I mean, she's just unrelenting in that consciousness. And this picture is called Oneness. Uh, heaven to, it's called Oneness. And uh, this is what she says about it. At my first fusion art retreat, I felt very blocked as, as I was relearning a whole new way to paint. Before we started on our last lesson of the day, the class had a session with a vis visiting energy healer to open us up. My teacher, Azuli, came by and painted a small white seagull in the middle of one of my uninspired paintings, his way of waking me up. This led me to a Leela experience when we destroy and create again, and I repainted the entire canvas except the bird. From there, I expanded the bird to meld with sea and sky, no top, no bottom, no separation, oneness. So that's uh, Lorna. And the next pieces we're going to see are from Catalina and Jerry Douglas. Yeah, so this painting you see on your left is, is from Catalina, Angel from the Train. It's an acrylic on canvas. Catalina is from Ojai, California. Uh, Catalina is actually here tonight. She comes to a lot of bridging shows. She's just a, a real collaborator and a real supporter and a real inspiration for bridging. She does a lot of healing work and spiritual work. And here's what she says. It's a really interesting story, so really listen. Angel from the Train is a man who was in my life over the past year at the filming of Bridging Heaven and Earth. My first time of attending the filming of the show one year ago, I was by myself sitting in the audience area and a train went by outside the building. The energy from the train was spooking me and I was freaking out. Then I turned around in my seat and there was this beautiful, tall, black man standing before me in the door doorway. I asked him, are you the angel from the train? This man made me calm from the scattered energy that I was freaking out about from the train. His calmness and light turned into a friendship every time I visited the filming of Bridging Heaven and Earth. This past April, I did not see my angel from the train. Then in May, I asked if anyone knew where he was. Turns out my earth angel transcended into a heavenly angel. At that moment, I knew what to create for my inspirational art piece that I was asked to create for quite some time. No one knew I had created the piece, but when I arrived at Bridging Heaven and Earth filming on June 14th, there was one empty easel waiting to receive Angel from the train. Uh, the picture on your right is called All One Religion. It's by Jerry Douglas. It's mixed media. Jerry's from Solvang, California. He's been a Bridging Heaven and Earth dedicated crew member for many, many years. He's obviously an extraordinary artist. He loves art. And he has two pieces in the uh, International Healing Art Project. So if you go to, again, heaventoearthart.com and go to Jerry Douglas, you'll see the other piece. The other piece is really one of my favorites. It's really a wonderful piece. And here's what Jerry says about all one religion. The concept for me when I started the piece was to exhibit the misguided sincerity of the iconic righteous, for example, each of the abstract denominations suggested in the piece, as, it, as can be noticed, has a distorted, nearly mutilated appearance. 
I wanted to show the beauty of the beginning and at the same time expose the deterioration of those moralities which were established at the beginning for our spiritual success and balanced by the entities that are charged with protection of our souls and well-being. The enemies of these ideals are the seven deadly sins. However, greed and vanity are responsible in my mind's eye for the majority of the breaches between heaven and earth. Any organized religion leads to separation. There is no need for temples or churches. Our own heart is our temple. There is only one love, one journey. We are infinite beings with unlimited reality and potential and are learning to be fearless fearless and unrelenting in service to the light, the love, the oneness. The explosion of consciousness is here and your part in it is well established. Not to worry or be concerned, just joyously and lovingly as many minutes, moments, breaths as possible, be unrelentingly serving the love and oneness. Jerry Douglas, incredible piece. All one religion. And the next pieces we're going to see are by Nancy Stan Lee and Marina Petro. So this picture you're seeing on the left here is by Nancy Stan Lee called Our Crystal Bridge. Our Crystal Bridge. It's an acrylic painting on gallery wrap canvas. Nancy is from Arlington, Texas. And this is a letter that uh, Nancy sent to the bridging artists and friends, dear bridging artists and friends. Thank you for allowing me to contribute my original acrylic painting to the bridging project and to express my creativity. I have shown in juried shows and galleries and have many works in private collections. I am a retired elementary librarian from Texas who loves to paint. International travels and art workshops have shown me the oneness and sameness of mankind, our shared hopes, love, and dreams for our family and friends. Our bridge and connection is this love, and our great teacher told us to love one another. And the heart symbol in the painting is there to remind us of this admonition. The heart symbol also reminds us to look in the heart instead of the outward appearance. This original bridge work was painted this week while I was surrounded by my loving group of collaborative painting friends. The energizing, faceless figures in the painting have the same look and style, and they symbolize the oneness of humanity all over the planet. But they appear on different levels as each one is bridging this journey at their own pace. May we come to the realization that we're here to take care of each other and to love one another. This is the artist's statement. Nancy's art is a means of self-expression and it, always, it is always evolving and taking a new direction. Her paintings are created using water-based media, acrylic and watercolor, and this media is attractive to her because of the pigment flow and the bright colors possible. She tends to use intuitive colors and is comfortable with representational and non-objective subjects. She is always a little surprised when a painting turns out reasonably well as each new project is like the first day of a journey. However, on this journey, you never arrive after all the detours of endless and vast amounts of information on new methods and techniques. The journey is the reward with, with each new friend and each new travel destination. Nancy says, I don't strive for a photographic reproduction of an image as I feel like a camera can do a better job. Art has an emotional dimension and I'd like to leave something for the viewer's imagination. Nancy's vibrant and colorful paintings capture a moment in time during her life experiences at home in Texas or in travel. She enjoys imaginative figurative work while letting the viewer come to their own conclusions. The, the smaller picture, frame picture on the right, is by Marina Petro called Heaven's Bridge. It's an original oil on canvas, and Marina is from Saratoga Springs, New York. And this is what uh, Marina says about Heaven's Bridge. My passion for painting was ignited when I held the first crayon in my two-year-old hand. 
I am primarily a self-taught artist, clairvoyant, and present workshops intuitive painting and intuitive development. I work primarily with oil on canvas, however, my bold, colorful, and more abstract intuitive paintings from the zone are rendered with acrylic and mixed water media on canvas. Paintings range from visionary and cosmic art to realistic landscape, still life, and abstract works. I've created a line of greeting cards and fine art reproductions of my original artwork. In 2007, I joined the Daily Painters Movement, or a painting a day. We are a group of artists worldwide who typically paint one small painting almost daily and post each piece as it is created at our daily painting blogs for sale. In 2008, I was invited to participate in the International Bridging Heaven and Earth Project. This is a collaboration of artists all over the world creating a work of art with the theme of bridging heaven and earth. It is considered a worldwide energy amplifying process using art and the collective energies of many to bring more light and love into this world. My artwork has been used to illustrate magazine, articles, music CD covers, wine bottles, business stationery, and featured in a variety of publications and national magazines. My paintings and prints are in private collections all over the world. I am driven by an insatiable passion to create. Art enables us to glimpse and experience divine manifestation. The great creator continuing the spirit of creation through the world's artist. Painting and the inescapable force which impels and flows through me is my essential link to the sacred and to my soul. The majority of my paintings are created through my imagination. Painting from my inner world demands existing in the moment, responding to impulses and impressions as they arise and seek external life. My still life pieces and more realistic landscapes and florals are painted from life or photographs. This provides the dynamic of a visual reference point in the external world, a radically different experience. One is my internal spiritual world brought forth into visibility. The other brings the external world into and through me for expression. Each is a great adventure providing unlimited possibilities for creative discovery. I perceive my attempts at art to lay in vain in light of what I know is possible to express. So I continue to paint each work always incomplete, never quite fully expressing what I sense is possible, but I am driven to continue to extend myself, to go beyond where I have been, to practice, to unfold, to stay open and alert, aspiring to the masterpiece that may someday come close to expressing the inexpressible beauty of the world we can see and the world's just hidden from view. Amazing, huh? So the next couple of pieces we're going to see are by Darren Block and Christine Tarantino. So the extraordinary photograph you're seeing on the left is by a, a great friend of Bridging from the local area around Santa Barbara where we shoot the show, Ventura, California. That's a photograph. It's called Praying in Pink by Darren Block. Darren is a musician. He's a poet. He's a filmmaker. If you go to his piece on the Bridging Heaven to Earth art site, you can link to his website and see incredible uh, art and, and music that he's done from his site. And here's what he says about this incredible piece, Praying in Pink, Praying in Pink. and actually that's his daughter, the, the uh, little blonde in front. Closer to the source, children pray without thinking and love without fear. Very beautiful. So that's Praying in Pink, Darren Block. And the smaller piece on your right is, is by Christine Tarantino. She's from Wendell, Massachusetts. I am part of the earth too. And this is varnished organics, beet stains and moss, paint, oil, pastels, glitter, and cardstocks. And here's Christine's statement about that piece. I am part of the earth too. Creating a work of art for bridging heaven and earth was a meditative act. 
with focus and joy from the innermost part of my being. The work began with grapes, a fruit thought to be a gift of divine intervention. I first stained the paper with crushed Concord grapes from my backyard, which I mixed with moss and glitter. Connecting to the earth, creating art that day, I was overwhelmed with the deep satisfaction of knowing I am part of the earth as well as the external and boundless cosmos. Uh, Christine creates mixed media works with the energy, ideas, and materials she has at the moment, innovation and experimentation with primary interest in the forces of nature. And the last piece we have is an extraordinary piece by a very dear friend of, of bridging, Kathy Donatelli. Well, everybody, this is the last piece of the Healing Art Project. It's obviously international. You've heard and seen pieces from all over the planet. This is called Angel Earth by Catherine Donatelli. Catherine, it's an, uh, an acrylic on canvas. I mean, just look at it, it is just, it, it's amazing. Uh, Catherine is from LA. Um, she was actually a guest on one of the earliest shows on Bridging, so if you wanna check it, I don't know the number right offhand. But just Bridging Heaven Earth with Catherine Donatelli or go to her website or go to the Bridging site, either heaventoearth.com or heaventoearthart.com. And this is what uh, Catherine says about uh, Angel Earth. My inspiration for Angel Earth. Spring is a very motivating time of year. As all around us, plants and trees are blooming, birds are birding, bees are being, and every crack and crevice just seems to teem with life. I wake with my cats running over my chest and face to see the gray doves that are building a nest right below my bedroom window. The three of us watch from our lofty perch as one twig after the other gets added to the nest. I constantly thought about that bird's nest and it gave me fuel to continue on with my chores and projects. The more I visualized it, the more I wanted to paint it. I began a series of bird's nest paintings which manifested from my thoughts as if I had photographed them. Each nest by itself was intriguing, but I, but I questioned whether to add another element. As I looked at the nests I had painted, I noticed that there was already something there in the shadows, some kind of figure, figure struggling to become an identifiable form. I looked at the second painting and all around it, if you squint, you can see light and movement almost like fairies dancing. All of the nests contain, contain some sort of spirit, a beginning life force. As I was showing the series to a friend of mine and simultaneously talking about the Bridging Art Project, we suddenly had an aha moment about putting the earth in a bird's nest. It was as if lightning struck my third eye. I immediately got a vision of the most beautiful neoclassical angel cradling the bird's nest in her arms and protecting the earth. The gestation of a new earth the chance to start anew. The idea came via a, an earthly messenger. The image was manifested from my connection to earthly beginnings. The, birds, the bird nest represents the cosmic vessel that houses new life, the next generation. The angel represents strength and is an unstoppable force protecting the fragile new earth while it is most vulnerable. So really, there you have it. I mean, so much power and so much beauty. I mean, we are so fortunate. I mean, every time one of these pieces come in, one of these pieces of jewelry, one of these creations in all different forms, literally 200 of them all over the planet come in and are part of the bridging family and a part of the bridging collaboration and a part of the international healing art project. We feel so blessed and so gifted and so lucky. And every one of you really can be part of that healing. It came as a healing, as an acupuncture for the planet to heal the heart of the planet, to heal the root. I mean, all the issues we know about, all the issues on the planet we know need to be solved, need to be healed, need to be remedied. 
But if we don't heal the heart, if we don't heal the root, if we don't heal the separation from the love, the connection to the oneness, then all we're just going to switch out the problems. It's like squeezing a balloon. So we really feel that to join us, please join us in collaboration, join us in love. Anybody is welcome. Anybody who feels moved by any of these pieces, contact us, heaven to earth dot com, heaven to earth art dot com. You can email us, you can call us, Alan 805-687-2053, 805-687-2053. Good night, we love you. Good night.